How do you turn off the visibility of constraints? How do you find and select them and delete them? How do you delete them one at a time? In Fusion 360, coming up. Hey, this is Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today we're talking about constraints. Let's get right into it. So when you need to remove constraints, I'm in a sketch, I need to be editing the sketch. That's the first thing. You can't wake those things up without be, without editing. So I'm editing the sketch. The first tip I wanna point out is you can just turn off the visibility. That will remove them visibly, allows you to work in the sketch a little bit easier and make changes. So if visibility is not really what you had in mind, you can of course select each constraint and remove it. So if I wanted this line to not be locked into a horizontal, I could just delete that one constraint. Now I'm doing that. If I want to select every single constraint and get rid of them, let's go up to our selection tool, find our filters, and I'm gonna clear everything by the select all. And now I come find specifically the sketch geometry constraints. I'm gonna box select everything, hit delete on the keyboard. It removes all my constraints and now I can start to move this thing about completely without any of those constraints getting in the way. One got you to that filter, you'll wanna be sure to go back. Look at this, I can't select an entity, I can't select a dimension, I'm double clicking like crazy, nothing's happening. Be sure to go back to that selection filter and Make sure that you've got everything that you care about selected. I'm going to leave select all because I like to be able to select everything by default. If you're looking for a getting started series, I created that for you here in this playlist. Check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.